some very exciting news that we want to share with you guys. Hillary Clinton and Chelsea Clinton have a new Apple TV show. It's called Gutsy. I know you're thrilled about this. Let's take a look. Okay, here we go. We're hitting the road to shine a light on women who inspire us to be bolder and braver. Leadership doesn't look one way. It's a giant rainbow. You're not gonna break me down. You'll get worn out before I do. Women who push us outside our comfort zone. You got this. And make us laugh. I'm in deep Georgia, and they might have never met a Muslim. Or they don't know they have. Or they don't know they have. Because we walk among you. <laughs> You have a marriage that has been on public display Ooh. since the beginning. You said the gutsiest thing you ever did was stay in your marriage. That doesn't mean that's right for everybody. To throw someone's life away when people really do make changes, I just believe in second chances. My mother needed rehabilitation, not prison. Your survival is your power. Someone say to me, you're not good enough because you have melanin? How dare you? I have a master's in whites. I just want whites to get a GED in blacks. <laughs> if there was ever a time for... <laughs> uh, here's how they marketed I'm having, it. I'm having big time 2016 DNC flashbacks. What do Kim Kardashian, Gloria Steinem, Megan Thee Stallion, and Jane Goodall all have in common? They're gutsy. Join us for intimate conversations with some of the world's boldest and bravest women. How do these people get stuck in a like 2012 yeah. timeline? And how do they give people money to make this shit? This That's was, the thing I don't this understand. This was an expensive Yeah, look production. at this. Look at the High production value production. and all this. Traveling all yeah. over, Kim Kardashian and all these people. Yeah, this doesn't come cheap. I don't understand. I, I just, it's like, do we learn nothing from the Fauci documentary, which was a huge flop for National Geographic? Oh, that's like, right. No yeah. shit, people. Yeah, I don't know. it's just like it's it, like a brain worm with you know. I here's what I think. I think yeah. Apple has too much money. They don't actually know anything about content. They're like, hey, we'll take it. Sometimes, by the way, sometimes stuff on Apple is incredible. Severance, one of the best TV shows I've watched in a long time. Greyhound, awesome movie. Blackbird, great miniseries. So every once in a while, because they have such big pockets, but. They're also willing, you know, Tim Cook and his guys are like, oh yeah, Hillary thing. That's what that's what the people want. And so Imagine Apple TV. That. Like it's hard to, yeah. it's really hard to say who's more out of touch. Hillary yeah. herself or yeah. the executives who greenlight something like that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think it's the I think it's the executives. Everything I've read about Apple TV is these people don't have a clue. They just throw money out like nobody's business. Morning show, which I personally liked, but guess what? Uh Unless you host a morning show, not a lot to it was a little really. Niche. Yeah, it's like a little bit of a niche audience where I was like, oh, I can well, relate to let that. Let me ask you but, this. Yeah. Let me ask the real provocative question yeah. here. Do you think that this is part of like a, a comeback plan? Do you think there's still people, little birdies in our ear, whispering like, "Now's your moment, Hillary. Now's your time. Joe Biden's approval ratings are low. You should jump in there. You'll be the unifying figure. You'll have a redo against Donald Trump." It what could be think? that. I think she's jealous of Obama for getting his Netflix deals and for his shitty National Park special, oh, which was yeah. a huge huge flop over at Netflix. Which, by the way, why is the American president talking about parks that aren't in America and then calling it national parks? I don't get it, okay? Really, where were the parks? They were all over the world, which is fine, but that's for David Attenborough, not for Barack Obama. Whatever. That's my dream. I want to do that job. I would love to do it too. (laughs) Sounds great, right? Just narrate. You didn't even go. We just narrated. Uh, All right. So that put that aside. I think you're right. I think you're right, though. She saw him doing his Netflix deal. I think that's why. Yeah. Um, And And his podcast with Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, which didn't work out. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, And Michelle and him are doing Mm -hmm. all kinds of like those that media stuff. Yes. She wanted her. I think she's jealous of Obama. That makes sense. That makes sense. Also. These are the Clintons. They want money. Like these are some of the greediest people who've ever money. lived. They, they want like, clout. They yeah. want to reattain that uh, moment when they were doing like the Clinton Clinton Global Initiative, yes. and they were like heralded right. as these world historic figures and feted by elites. All over. they want that like cachet back. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it just feels very like lean in feminism oh, so throwback, cringy. cringy. The music choices, all of it. Yeah, hundred percent. A lot there. Yeah. All right, guys, something to look forward to. Have more for you later. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. 
That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.